Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we need to go over the most recent episode of Pokemon Horizons and the first half of this episode was basically Coral carrying. Essentially the only interesting part of the first half of the episode was Coral. She gets into another argument with Liko, Roy, and Katie this time because she's upset over the fact that they ran out of food once again because Liko, Roy, and Dot showed up to the bakery sooner than she did and they got these snacks and also we see Murdoch working at the bakery now I guess temporarily while they're in Paldea so that was interesting to see I guess but yeah Coral she gets mad at the kids and so Katie has her and Liko have this quick little bake off which Liko wins because Coral does absolutely terribly she barely she doesn't even make a cake she just makes a mess and she gets upset and has her Glalie attack everyone and just just typical Coral you know the only interesting explorer the only explorer worth watching so yeah, that was pretty much the only good thing about the first part of the episode. So yeah. Now moving on to the second half is when we finally get Liko's terrestrialization exam where she has to face Katie in a gym battle. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected the typical, you know, Liko struggles a bit in the battle, but she manages to find a way around and win. But actually, Liko ends up losing the battle. She does end up terrestrializing Floragato and does a powerful hit to Teddy Ursa, who Katie is using, but... She ends up, Katie ends up terrestrializing Teddy Ursa into a bug type, of course, because that's her specialty, bug types. And so she ends up turning things around and ends up defeating Floragato. So I was actually surprised to see that. I was honestly fully expecting Liko to win this because Liko's pretty much always winning every single battle she's in. But I was happy that she lost this. I think Liko needs a loss every once in a while. I think she could take a loss here. So I was happy that she didn't end up defeating Katie. And she still ended up passing her test anyway because the test is just for them to show off how they can use terrestrialization. They don't actually need to win the battle. So I was actually fine with Liko losing here because she still got her, you know, tests approved. So that was all good. I am hoping that Roy and Dot will win their battles though because they haven't shown as much battle time and battle proficiency as Liko. So I'm hoping for their battles that they will get the win. But we'll see when the time comes. It, I guess it'll all depend on how it's written. But overall, I thought this was a pretty good episode. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.